Good afternoon. Between April 16th and April 27th, faculty on all 23 California State University campuses voted in person and online on whether to authorize the California Faculty Association's Board of Directors to call a strike. If the authorization is adopted, this strike can only happen once the bargaining process spelled out by state law has been concluded. We're about to begin the last step in this legal process. As chair of the CFA bargaining team, I can tell you that negotiating with the representatives of the CSU Chancellor Charles Reed has been a difficult and disappointing process. We didn't want this fight. In fact, we originally suggested that we extend our contract and work together with the administration on the funding for our system that we so desperately need. Even when they refused to extend, we offered a very modest proposals we honestly think reflect what is needed to keep our people working in the CSU and doing the best we can for our students despite the challenges to public higher education. <clears throat> We're the people who teach in the classrooms. We're the librarians. We coach and train the athletes. And we provide mental health services for our students. We want to do the best job we can, and we are well aware of the challenges, probably far more aware than the people in the chancellor's office, because we are out there with our students on the campuses every day. We said we were willing to bargain in good faith for a fair contract. A fair contract will allow us to support our families, do a good job as educators, and to help our students succeed. We think that the chancellor has not met our level of seriousness in, in these negotiations. In fact, the CSU chancellor's people have only been willing to talk about their all concessions contract demands. His representatives and consultants won't even consider improvements we have proposed that have either no, low, no cost or very low cost. In the meantime, the chancellor chooses to hike spending on his fellow executives and on pet projects, some of which are high cost experiments that would move the CSU away from the public service for the people of California and into a for profit operation. A for profit operation that charges students more, pays the faculty less, and diminishes the quality of education for our students. In a few minutes, I'll be glad to address your questions about how negotiations have gone. But first, I'd like to turn the podium over to CFA President Lillian Tays. Thank you, Andy. As faculty, we are committed <coughs> to teaching a rich and diverse curriculum that improves people's lives while enhancing the quality of our society and the strength of our democracy. We believe that today is a teachable moment. It is a moment being faced by struggling middle-class people all over the country who want to work and want to do that work well. For faculty in the CSU, that means providing quality higher education for our students. During the past two weeks, we have been showing our students that there are times when you simply must stand up for the things you believe in. We believe in our students and the promise this state made to provide them with quality higher education. The faculty, staff, and students in the CSU are all in this together. They are all being pounded from every direction. The students have been slammed with tuition and fee hikes and with more and more debt. At the same time, they find themselves unable to find the classes they need to complete their programs. The faculty have been slammed with furloughs and layoffs, 
More and more of our jobs have been made temporary, undermining the stability of a faculty workforce who really should be there to ensure that students get through to graduation. Students and faculty alike have been hit hard by ballooning class sizes. We have watched as managers have crammed students into classrooms with no regard for the subject taught or the teaching methods required. We've been left struggling against the odds, trying to keep our, help our students succeed. Now is the time for the voice of the faculty to be heard. in Spanish, briefly, and then we will take questions from people in the room and from the phone. John? Buenas tardes. Entre el 16 y 27 de abril, los maestros de los 23 campus de la Universidad Estatal de California votaron en vivo y electrónicamente para autorizar a la mesa directiva del Sindicato de Maestros, la California Faculty Association, si es necesario convocar una huelga contra el canciller y los administradores de la universidad. Si se aprueba la autorización, esta huelga solo puede suceder una vez el proceso de negociación llega a un final, descrito por la ley estatal. Estamos a punto de comenzar el último paso de ese proceso. Cuando termine el proceso, la facultad de la CSU procederá en consecuencia. Es mi privilegio anunciar los resultados de la votación. A favor, 95% de la facultad votaron a favor de huelga. 5% están opuestos. Gracias. 